Hello love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm in a weird mood today. It's been a weird day. It's been a weird week. It's been a weird year. A year. It's been a weird year. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm Sarah and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. Oh, I want you guys to be able to see my shirt for that one. Spirituality. <laughs> this is a fun shirt. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to talk about vulnerability, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but mostly the good. <laughs> like the word vulnerability gets a bad rap. Why is that? Well, I think it's because people see it as weak. Um, and I don't really think that's true. I think if you trace it back to, you know, the caveman days, that vulnerability more so meant, you know, physical or environmental vulnerability, you know, like, hey, you're going to die if you don't take shelter. You're putting yourself into a vulnerable state, if you will. It could also mean being exposed to disease, infection, you know, all that fun stuff. But I kind of believe that that's why it has kind of evolved into this negative connotation or this negative vibe to the word, if you will because now more in this civilized culture that we now live in, most times when we talk about vulnerability, it's not environmental or physical, which that is totally still relevant, it still exists. But I feel like when people speak about it nowadays, it's more so about emotional vulnerability or social vulnerability. Now, well, let me ask you, can you, can you think of a time when you were recently vulnerable and put yourself in a, an emotionally vulnerable situation? Were you scared? What happened? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I think that often our minds and our ego prevent us from being vulnerable because they wanna keep us safe and they wanna keep us protected and with vulnerability comes comes risk, you know? The risk of being hurt, the risk of being rejected or, or criticized. You could be let down, like there are so many possible negative outcomes with putting yourself out there and being vulnerable that a lot of times we just choose not to. We choose to just put the wall up. I'm not letting anyone in on my emotions, and that's that. <laughs> You're probably thinking to yourself, Sarah, you just named like a multitude of reasons not to be vulnerable, so why the hell should I? Da -da 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 -da. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why you should be vulnerable. And to me, there's one word that it comes down to. Are you ready? It's magic. <laughs> really though, that is my word for what I believe vulnerability can lead to. The magic of vulnerability is almost indescribable. It's the ability to deepen your connection with yourself and with others. And you simply just can't do that without having vulnerability. You literally cannot. If you think you can, I will take on your argument. We can meet in court next week. You let me know. But I really just don't even see how it's a possibility. I don't see how you can be deep and connected with someone and know who they really are and for them to really know who you are and for you to really know who, who yourself is <laughs> without getting vulnerable. It's just, I just, 
doesn't add up to me. So if you can think of an, a way, please let me know. But otherwise, we shall continue. <laughs> I can tell you firsthand as someone who, I think that I am way more vulnerable than the average person. And I've kind of always been that way. And uh, that doesn't mean that it's easy for me to do. Um, but I will tell you that that trait in myself I would say is the reason that I have such fulfilling and deep connections with the people in my life. It has allowed me to have these deep understandings of other people, for them to have deep understandings of who I am, whether it's family or friends, or you know, more recently a you know romantic connection. Is it scary as shit? <laughs> is it scary to um, confront someone that you love and care about that maybe you guys got in a disagreement and you know it's just eating you alive but you're kind of scared because you don't want to rock the boat of your relationship but you know that you just have to get this conversation out is it scary putting yourself out there and telling someone that you have feelings for them, not knowing if they have feelings back for you or not knowing how they're going to react? Is it scary allowing your mom or dad or really on the flip side, your son or daughter to see you cry? <laughs> Do you get my point here? It's hard. It's not easy to be vulnerable, but there is such magic when you do. It allows us to create compassion within one another, to have empathy with one another. It allows you to be understood on a deeper level. And isn't that kind of on a subconscious level what all of us want? We desire for someone to understand and appreciate us for who we truly are, not who we are on a surface level, not who we are when we're at work or talking to clients, but who the raw, authentic versions of ourselves are. Isn't that what we want? Well, how can you expect someone to accept and love you as you are if you won't even show them who you are? Hmm? Mm? Gotcha. Like this video. <laughs> it brings the feeling of belonging, of love, of joy, of courage, of authenticity, of acceptance. It allows us to explore different directions of feelings and thoughts and, and being creative in, in different ways. You just, you don't know unless you put yourself out there and do it. Vulnerability is courage. Vulnerability is strength. It is not weak. Being vulnerable is literally the least weak thing that you can do. Why do you think it's so freaking scary? So ready for my challenge, my challenge of the week. I challenge you to do something emotionally vulnerable this week. Find your inner strength and your courage and to do something or say something and put yourself out there in a way that you haven't done before and do something that you're scared to do and share it with me. I wanna know. I wanna know what you're doing. I wanna know so I can support you on your journey because learning to be vulnerable, I do feel is a crazy journey in itself. It is so worth it, it's so worth it, I swear. It really, really is. And also, encourage other people to be vulnerable with you. Give them a safe space to be vulnerable and have the courage to share with you. It goes both ways. You, you can't expect to be vulnerable with someone if you don't have that safe space and that trust within them. And you can't expect people to be vulnerable with you if you don't give them that safe space, that respect. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've wanted to kind of make it for a little while now. Um, we'll definitely talk about vulnerability more. I, it's such an in-depth and interesting topic to me because I just find that there's so much power within being vulnerable and it's something that we're taught to not be as a society. And like I said, it's magic. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like this video and share it if you found it encouraging. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Don't forget to subscribe.